Bandwidth for this podcast is brought to you by CashFly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. Welcome back to MacBreak Studio. I'm Mark. I'm in the studio with Steve today. We're talking Final Cut Pro 10 and specifically some color correction. Yeah, we're going to do some more color correction today. Um, okay. Everybody needs to... Everybody needs to color correct their clips. I don't often, know why I did. Often. I wanted to song. <laughs> I just wanted to song. It inspires you to and sing. When you think yes. color correction, it inspires you to sing. Yes, exactly. So there's some cool things you can do with Final uh -huh. Cut Pro's uh, built-in color correction tools. And uh, specifically, I want to talk about using color masks to isolate the uh, pixels around a specific uh, subject. So secondary color secondary, correction. Secondary, right? as opposed to primary. Yeah. Primary would be like, I want to affect all the pixels in the affect image. Affect everything. Everything. And then secondary is isolating Certain something. Certain portions just, of the frame okay. uh, to isolate and it. And changing that. And changing that, exactly. Great. Well, what are you going to do here? Well, um, I'm going to work on a helicopter. We, I, I just directed a little short um, that I posted on Vimeo. If you guys want to see it, um, there's the address at the bottom of the screen. And All it's right. called Lifted. It's this little uh, short, what I call a mini documentary okay. on, this, uh, on this helicopter guy. Um, anyway, I have the shot that's... Uh, perfectly suited to showing secondary color correction. Well, let's take a look. All right, so I'm gonna to toggle over to Final Cut. And uh, so here's a shot. I've got this helicopter and you know, you, I, I kind of follow him with my camera rig as he travels to the sky, but the sky doesn't have a lot of punch to it. I'd like to maybe add a little bit more saturation, punch it up a little bit, but I don't want to affect everything. I'm like, I don't want I don't want to affect the helicopter. The helicopter, so you want to be able to change the sky without changing the color of the helicopter. Exactly. Even though they both have shades of blue. They do have those shades of blue. So it seems like it could be well, challenging. Yeah, it could be, but we're gonna see what we can do. Okay. So, so what I'm gonna do is uh, option click on the clip, which will select the clip and park the playhead right over the clip. Yes. And that was since version 10.06, yes. right? Yes, yes. So what I'm gonna do is go Hopefully over Hopefully everybody's to gotten used to that by now. Yeah, right? some people still <laughs> hate it, but whatever. <laughs> So first thing is I want to turn on this, make sure this correction one is uh, turned on. Let me um, uh, let's see. So I got this correction one turned right. on. And I want to apply a color mask. And for some reason, there's already one applied. So let's go ahead let's and take that off. Okay. But you'll, when you apply the color mask using this little button here, it says mm -hmm. appropriately add, add color mask. mask. So you go ahead and click it. And you move the eyedropper over the uh, item that you want to mask out. In this case, I'm going to put it right here on the nose of the helicopter. And I'm just going to click and drag. And what's going to do is it's going to start making an uh, ever-widening circle. And it's actually picking up more pixels so as I drag. So it's adding to the selection. It's adding to the selection. And the thing that is selected turns black as it, it's selected? Actually, it's hard to tell. But yeah, yeah it turned, the, the whole image goes into kind of a grayscale. Okay. Kind of, so but the selected pixels are the darker ones. The darker ones. Like. Yeah, you can okay. see what's being selected and what isn't. So now you want to change the sky, but you're actually selecting the helicopter. You're right. And uh, more on that in a moment. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to zoom out. So I'm going to like do that. Okay. Well, great. Now. Now, there's this little known trick, and it's not exactly intuitive. How do I check my mat? How do I actually see what's yeah, selected? What you what just is selected is you're looking at now, like I have no idea what I'm looking at. Right. But here's the secret okay. it's the option key in your finger. So okay. I'm going to hold down the option key, yeah. and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to click right on this color mask slider. Okay. So I'm going to option click and hold, and then, oh, look at oh, that. Oh, you get the mat view. You get the mat view. Wow. And now you can drag that slider to adjust. You your can selection. drag the adjust. Yeah, you can adjust, adjust, but it's not. Yes, you can, but right now I still need to select additional pixels, as you can uh, see. I see. So I'm not going to do that quite yet. Yes. Okay. So I just want to see. You can see the the map. Okay. So now I've got. You, it looks like you have most of it selected. Most of it. Okay. Operative word. Yeah, most. So so, so what I'm going to do is I'm going I'm going to bring my eyedropper in here, and I'm going to hold down the shift key, and you'll yep. notice. I'll get a little plus symbol next to the uh, eyedropper, which to, means to add to the selection. so I'm just going to add to the selection. Just a little bit over over here. I noticed was a problem. Last, so I'm just going to okay. add a little bit more. And I can see more. it getting dark. A little uh -huh. dark, right? Which is a little bit down there. Yeah. Well, let's just get a, I just <laughs> know, there. right. So now okay. I'm going to go back over and option click and check my mask again. And much better. Yes. But I see the helicopter guy. See the helicopter guy. Oh, that's a helicopter guy. The, yeah. the black. The little, yeah, there, yeah, so yeah, he's not selected. No, okay. he's not. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ah, I take see. my the pilot right there is not selected. So I'm yeah. going to shift click and yeah. I'm just going to drag right over his head, right, like, like that, and add him to the selection. Add him to the selection. Okay. I'm going to go back, option click. Right, right There was right a on little bit slider. more intuitive way of doing this, yeah. like you know maybe Apple, maybe create like a separate viewer display. So yeah. Anyway, um, that's okay. Option I'll click on that guy and. Uh, Click on that guy. And look at this. Now you've got look a nice at this. selection. Yeah. Now what's nice is I could start dragging the slider and including more. Oh, pixels. you got the rotors in I there too. I got the rotors, so I'm going to get some of the rotors in there. Um, 
it's a pretty darn good yeah, mask good. for nice. just a couple of yeah. you know samples, don't you think? And, and just by the way, when you say color mask, you might think uh, some kind of shape but you're making a color mask based on a selection of pixel values. Pixel values, color right. Color values, luminance values. Okay, and now I see you selected all that. It's starting to select a little bit of the sky yeah, in the top the, left corner, yeah. but yeah. That's, uh, it's Maybe beautiful. It, yeah, I think yeah. that looks great. That looks great. So, so now what I'm gonna do is my secondary color correction. I want to affect the sky. Okay. But you, but like you were saying, well, you select the helicopter and you right. want to affect the sky. Well, you want to do the you, opposite. You, you want to do the opposite, and this is where you've got to go into the color board. Okay. And there's these buttons down here. It says inside, ah. outside. We are working inside. Okay. So now I'm going to click this little button here uh, called outside. Okay. And um, so you can uh, see there, that's the button that yep. I'm selecting. Yep. So outside, and. What I'm going to do, just to so you could see this, I'm going to. Did you already select the outside? I, I think see. so. Yeah. Okay. And then if you go into the set, um, for example, I'm going to. I'm pretty happy with the exposure, and mm -hmm. how would I know that? Well, it's always a good idea, and I didn't mention this earlier. It's probably a good idea to show the scopes, and then you could see here. What's nice, um, you can kind of see where the helicopter. So falls you're looking in particular at the waveform right here. And the reason to look I'm showing the brightness levels. Yes, and okay. why I'm doing that is I'm happy with exposure, which is around 75. percent I don't really want them pushed into 100. There's no point. A really bright sky. Right, right. So I'm not going to even mess with exposure because the the, the waveform is telling me I'm at like 75. percent Yeah. Which is fully acceptable for that highlight. Okay. So I'm going to go into saturation, and I'm going to just so you can see, I'm going to work with the highlights here. And I'm just going to go ahead and um, make sure outside is still selected. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to, you can just pull this down. I'm desaturating the sky. I see, it's getting kind of gray. Right, yeah. so it's getting kind of gray. So now mm -hmm. if I push this in the other direction, yeah. so I'm going to, I'm actually adding blue to the sky. See how it's like getting, Absolutely. it's getting a lot bluer now. Yep. Right. In fact, if I want to add more blue, I'll just go to the color board and I'll get that same highlight control. Uh -huh. And I'll just start pushing that into the blue a little bit more. I'm just going to, can really, you it's know, if I really, now. it's getting really kind of purpley, yeah. but I just want to kind of back it off. Just, I just want to make the sky pop a pop, little bit yeah, more. Yeah, yeah, Without being totally unnatural, but just really give it some nice punch. Yeah, so in fact, it's always a good idea to never check your, never do your color grading on one isolated frame. You really need to look at how the ah, whole- Ah, because it changes. Look as you back up, you see more of the horizon. Yeah, you see more of the horizon, and so it's, it's a little bit blue, uh -huh. but remember, it shouldn't be affecting the helicopter because we, we selected right. all the, the all those pixels, but See, what I'm mainly concerned with the shot towards the end, because that's yeah. where the emotion of the shot is, is when it's, it's really lifting, lifting up. and yep. coming over the top of you. Yeah, it's coming over the horizon here, but right here is where I really want that sky to pop. Okay, so, beautiful. So I, I, I like that. Now, the great thing is, um, I just quickly want to talk about audition clips. Mm -hmm. um, I might want to do variations on a theme, like maybe I want to add more purple, but maybe I want it more like twilight, purplish, a purplish sky. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I've got an, I have an audition clip already created here. Um, see that little mm -hmm. spotlight. So I'm going to click on this and bring up the audition clip, and you can see this is the shot we're working on. A lot of people ask me, what is this duplicate button for, and why do I, why would I want to use it? Well, here's a perfect example. I want to duplicate the clip with the color correction, the secondary correction already applied, and then I can make an alteration to it. And so, while keeping uh, my original keeping secondary. Keeping original, okay, so you're making, you already have two separate clips in the audition here, but this is the one you're working on. And you're Correct. going to duplicate it, and you're going to have two of the exact same clip in it, but then you can make further changes right, yeah. and toggle between them. Exactly. Right. In fact, okay. we're going to do that. So this is the one that's selected. I'm not worried about, I'm not going to concern about, about the other shot. one. So I'm going to select this one, yeah. and I'm just going to duplicate it. Yeah. So now I have, I'm working with the duplicate. I'm going to just click done, and all I'm going to do now is, notice the color board is still open. And I just want to go over here to, let's see, color, and make sure outside is selected. I don't know what, see, I, it's very important. This little gotcha. Yeah. You still want to make sure outside is it's selected. It's hard to tell that it's selected. And then it's kind of a dark, dark yeah. blue. If you click, can you click inside just so I can see the difference? Ah, yeah, it's, it's very, very hard to tell the one selected versus the other. Yeah. So, so now all I want to do is I want to just grab this highlights control, and I'm just going to move it over towards this purplish color. So Would gonna, it be okay um, to close the the, 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 the um, waveform just so we can see the picture a little bigger? Yeah, sure. Just because so I think, it, yeah, so there, there we, go. we go. Beautiful. So I was working on, um, let's see, saturation and outside. Uh -huh. It's interesting, I, I noticed this. Notice when I changed it, 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 it defaulted back to inside. So this is something. It's kind of you a gotcha. Be a, it's a little gotcha. Yeah, you yeah. better check. To, can, just kind of switched over without me even doing anything yeah. over to inside. It was and back that just, to inside. That, that messed me up, and I don't know why it's doing yeah. that. So it's okay. So there's outside. So outside, you can see when I get into the color board, I'm, I've moved this towards the purple. Yeah. So I, I, I want yep. to kind of more of a purplish sky because yeah. it's more like twilight. So now you can see here 
it kind of does this really awesome. It wow. makes this beautiful, yeah, beautiful. twilight beautiful. sky, yeah. and then like it's kind of purplish when the helicopter. Yep. I could show this to the client and say, you know, what do you think of this? Yeah. If you don't like that, you can go back into the audition clip, and you can say, well, you can always go back to the original. There's there's the one we there's corrected. That one, yeah. And then there's the uh, there's the other one. Yeah. There's the other one. Nice. Very nice. And uh, it's just a quick way of of being able to toggle back and forth between. I actually really like this uh, this purpley one. But uh, there's a good good use of the color mask tool to affect the yep. sky. Yep. And you can see it did a very, very good job of uh, isolating job. Uh, that uh, helicopter. Even though it had some of the same tones of the sky, you were able to completely isolate it and use that great trick to check the mat, which is very helpful. And then using auditions to switch between them. That's it's right. Awesome. Did I show where the actual finished video is? I don't remember if I did. You did. Okay. You did, yeah. Good. And good. there's a, they brought up the URL, so everybody should be good to go on that. Excellent. Cool. Thank you. Um, more information about Final Cut Pro 10 and motion and related applications on rippletraining.com. Uh, thank you, Steve. Thank you for watching MacBreak Studio.